If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you would like to see more from the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the bell icon to all to be notified whenever this channel uploads. Hello, humans and monsters alike! It is I, the Great Papyrus, and welcome back to Papyrus Plays Undertale! Yes, that's right, humans and monsters alike, I am back with Undertale! Now, in the last episode, humans and monsters alike, a lot of things happened which I do not want to discuss, but I will say that the game is very accurate yet again at portraying a lot of parts of my life. And frankly, I don't know how to feel about that. But yes, humans and monsters alike, I, I'm just excited to get started and continue on with the game, and hopefully it won't be as scary. So let us go. And Sans, don't be a lazy bones. Ooh. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Ah, yes. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. That is strange. Um. Use the box? Yes. Um. Uh, where, where I, I don't think I really need anything out of the box or need to put anything in the box, so I, I suppose I'll just not use it right now. What's down here? Oh. Um. Hmm. Oh! An echo flower! Hello! I swore I saw something behind the rushing water. Behind the rushing water? Um. Uh, oh, God! Oh! Oh, I thought they were going to hit Frisk. Good. It did not. Huh? There's a camera behind the wall. What? How on earth would a camera function behind a waterfall? Doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Behind the... Wait a moment. What on earth? What is that? Oh, God! Oh, God! I I'm sorry for his... What is... Oh! I, I I just saw that there was something strange up there with the waterfall. I, uh, all righty. What what is this? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Oh, uh, y yes. You got the old tutu. Oh, uh, are we able to um use it? Use you equip the old tutu. Oh. Alrighty. Well, let us ooh, let us continue. Oh goodness. What? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, it's Undyne! And it's me again! Hello me! Hi Undyne, I'm here with my daily report Oh. Oh that's right, the daily report! Oh, God. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier... Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. And we went on a date, and I befriended the human! Oh, but uh, I, I didn't want Anine to know that at the time. I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? Uh... W w well... No. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? Uh, no! No! No, Undyne! No! You can befriend the human too! But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? Yes! You see? Uh, I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know if this game is going to be accurate with Undyne's stuff here or if it's going to go a different way. But Undyne, you can befriend the human too! You 
you can be great friends, like I am with the human. Um. I suppose I move now. Um. Uh, um. Um. Uh, ah! No! 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 Undyne, put your spear away! Put it away! Like I said, you can befriend the human! You can watch anime with the human! Uh. uh. Oh God! Um, uh, fr Frisk, uh, let 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 me get you out of here. We can be. Oh, H hello again. Um, yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. Was awesome. Young child, did you not see that Undyne was holding her spear? Uh, I. I'm so jealous. You shouldn't be! I mean, don't get me wrong, Undyne is a great friend of mine, but she could be a little, um, well, serious when it came to humans. Before she befriended the human, of course, in which case she happened to mellow out quite a bit. Which is good. What did you do to get her attention, ha ha? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! That would. Oh! Oh, are you alright? Um. Oh god. Um. Um. Al Alrighty. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Yes, Frisk! Stay determined! Don't worry! Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Alright. If I remember correctly, I, the Great Papyrus, being the cunning skeleton that I am, I called the human. And I had a plan! If this game is as accurate as it has been with me, then that is exactly what's going to happen! Oh. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. I see. Alrighty. And oh, I, I didn't mean to walk over that one. Ah, interesting. Oh, that's a, oh. Oh, um, hello. Aaron flexes in. Um, n nice to meet you, Aaron. Aaron. Check flex shoe. Um. Uh. Let us flex, Frisk! You flex, Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Alrighty. Oh! Oh, God! No! 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 Uh. Aaron is ready for your next flex! Okay! Um. We will flex again! Then! You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice, I won't lose though. Um. Oh! Yeah! 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 Alrighty! Good! Good! We've got this, Frisk! We've got this! And Aaron is ready for your next flex. Alrighty! I, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. You flex, Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Oh! You won, you earn zero EXP and 30 gold? Um. Okay then. What, what does this sign say down here? Hmm. Um. This. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Oh, okay. I see. Um. Hmm. What? Wait a moment. What's what's this way? 
sounds curious. Hmm. There's a few things that I want to look at here, humans and monsters alike. Um... I think if I do this, I should be able to see that sign. I'm very curious what that sign says. Hold on. Let us collect all of these little seeds here, Frisk, and we will see what is happening. Righty. Aha! Good! Now what does the sign say? Congratulations! You failed the puzzle! What? What, you, what? what? what do you mean I failed the puzzle? Why would you put a random sign here? How dare you! Well, all right, fine, I'll hit that little bell up here. There we go. Ooh, okay. It drew the seeds back. All righty. Well, um... Ah, there's a door there, but... Hold on. Am I able to... Am I able to do anything here? Hold on. Um... Hmm. Oh, wait! I, I bet... I bet I could... I think I would need to... Okay, alrighty. I'm sorry, humans and monsters alike, but this has me very curious. I wonder what's going on over here. Ooh, it stopped. Okay, all righty, all righty. We've got this, Frisk. We will figure this out. Ah, that wouldn't stop there if there wasn't anything there. All righty, we've got this. Okay, and last one. Yeah. Ah, okay. Does this lead anywhere? <gasps> it does! Ooh! Alrighty! A little bench! There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. A lone quiche? Will you take it? Yes. You got the abandoned quiche. Quiche? Hmm. I think Sans tried to make one of those before. That's strange. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. The responsibility? Of a quiche? Alrighty. I think let us go. Oh! Wait, I... I didn't have to hit the bell? Okay, um, ah, but hold on, hold on, let me see here, let me see, how do I do this part, hmm, one, two, three, I think only, ah, yes, I think only three can be put here, but perhaps I can put, perhaps I can put the fourth one down there, right underneath the middle one. Hold on. Hold on a moment. Oh, yeah, down here. Oh, darn it, no. Okay, all righty, all righty. Okay. It needs to be in a straight line then, hmm? Okay. Oh! Oh, hold on, hold on. I see now. I see now. I see how to solve this puzzle. Ah, hold on! I think I've got you now! There we go. And, yeah! And the last one up here! Should possibly work here! Yes! I did it! Excellent! Oh. Ring? <gasps> Hello, this is Papyrus! I knew it! I knew it! I knew I was going to call! Other me, you're about to tell the human about our plan, aren't you? No, 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 wait, wait, hold on, hold on. It's been quite a while. The other me is possibly going to ask what the human is wearing. 
how did I get this number? Wait. Well, well, other me, the, you gave your number to the human, and the human slash I, the great papyrus, called you. It was easy. I just dialed every number sequently until I got yours, but I thought we had caller ID. <laughs> so what are you wearing? I knew it! I knew it! The accuracy of this game is astounding! And very scary. I'm asking for a friend. Ah, oh, yes, she thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Dusty tutu? Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? W well, yes. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it, wink wink. Have a nice day. Ah, yes! Frisk! Frisk! Now listen. That other me, slash I, the Great Papyrus, have a master plan! We need to change the clothes you are currently wearing! Let us put the manly bandana back on! There we go! All right, the other me- Ooh. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh. Wishing room. Hmm. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Yes! Indeed! Don't give up! Oh. Wuxia scuffles up. Hello, Wuxia. Uh, Wuxia. Touch clean choke. Um. Clean? You ask Wuxia to clean you, it hops around excitedly. Oh, okay. Tweet, green means clean. Green means clean? Oh! Uh, oh, wait, green! Green, come here, green! There you go! Ah! Okay. Wuxia wonders if tears are sanitary. That is a strange thing to wonder. Act. Oh! It's yellow! Alrighty. Mercy. Spare! 25 gold. Bowie! Thank you for the gold, Wusha! Come on, sis, make a wish. Oh. I wish my sister and I would see the real star someday. Oh! Oh, that is very. That is very nice. You will! Don't you give up, you siblings! Don't you give up! You will see the stars one day! Don't give up on your dreams! What is this? Look through the telescope? Yes? Oh! Check wall. Um. Check wall. Check wall. Um. Ch d does it mean? Um. Um. What wall is it referring to? I don't know what wa wall it is meaning. Um. Ah, uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Hmm. Oh, is, is it this wall? Oh! Um, thank you? Hmm. What, what is this? Hmm. Alrighty. Ancient writing covers the wall. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Oh. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had n nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Oh, is that true? Hmm. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. 
e even after death? How would that be knowledge? How who would who would have figured that out though? That is strange. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. Um It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. What does it look like? Um Alrighty, let us continue on, Frisk. Um Wait, what what happened to the music? Um Okay. Well, we'll just keep going then, Frisk. Ah! Ah! What? What? Oh my god, I'm dying! Wait! Ah! Ah! No! No, wait! I'm dying! No! I'm dying! Stop! 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 Stop it! Stop it! No! Ah! No! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, oh my god! I... Uh, keep going, Frisk! No! No! I'm so sorry! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! No! No! Uh, Oh god. No! I get that frisk! Oh my god! No! No! I died! Stop! Stop it! Please! The human can be friends with you! Oh god! Ah! Uh, no! 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 I died! We can make spaghetti and befriend the human! No! Um... I... Um... Oh, d d he hello again, little monster child. Mio, did you see that? Undying just... touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Well, that's not sanitary. Man, are you unlucky? Unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left? Pio, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Um. Yes, I'm sure we will. I'm so sorry, Frisk. I did not know that Undyne was this crazed and wanting to get you so much. I, well, no, I, I did know, but I didn't know it was to this extent. Oh, goodness. Oh. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It stuck to the table. Oh. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Yes, I suppose that would, but hold on. I just had a thought. I just remembered. We do have my cell phone number. Other me, what do you have to say? Why are there so many tables lying around here? Oh, yes, I suppose I didn't no notice. Yes, that's a good question. Hmm. I, I, well, to be honest, I thought you were going to be a little helpful there about the plan, other me, but... Yes, I suppose the placement of tables is also very important. Oh, my... Hello, Sans! Wait a minute, what are you doing away from your sentry station? Oh my god. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? This is either going to be a prank or Sans is going to tell a pun about the telescope. <sighs> Use the telescope. Yes. Up. Up. 
um... Sense, did you just... What did you do? Did you just use some sort of marker and cover up the lens? Oh, goodness sakes. <sighs> uh, <gasps> oh, my... Frisk! Sans! Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Oh, my God. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, Frisk. Use the box? Yes. Abandon key... Uh, yes, we'll put the abandoned quiche here. Wait a moment. Ho hold on. Other me? What do you have to say about Sans's incompetence? Ring, ring. Huh? My brother? Of course he has a telescope. Sans loves outer spacey sci-fi stuff. Hmm? He never told you? Yeah, Sans never tells anybody anything. That is true. He does have a lot of secrets. Although... Sans, I know you do love your sci-fi, but why on earth would you pull a prank like that? And you just ruined your telescope! <sighs> what is up here? Oh! Oh, it's you again! Hello! I relocate in my store, but there are no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can treat them for a free ice cream. Ooh! They're sure to get the customers to come back. Oh, I can see that working. Nice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Oh, well, yes, of course we'll take one. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. Oh, well, thank you! The box contains one cards. Take a card? Yes! You got a punch card. Thank you! What is this? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors? A uh, fellow! Y you shouldn't do that! That's, that's not nice at all! Uh, th thank you for the ice cream. Um, hold on. Use the box? Yes. Ah, yes, I, I thought so. You can put the punch card in here. There we go. Finish. Hello? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill... Can you kill it? Are you a star? Um... I think we should keep going, Frisk. Oh! Um... Uh, hello, little duck! Um... Well, alrighty, I'll, I, I will see you later then. Hmm. You know, if it was me, Frisk, I would just be able to float across that gap, but... But I know you cannot float. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Ooh. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Oh, no wish is stupid! Don't call your wish stupid. Oh, oh me! Hello! Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you to about clothes? Ah, yes! Yes, other me! Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you was very... murdery, yes. Yes, we just experienced that. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you, yes! Never betray friendship! I'm not a cruel person, of course! I strive to be comforting and pleasant, yes! 24-7, that is the Papyrus way! Papyrus, he smells like the moon! Yes! So because of my inherent goodness, I told her you were not wearing a dusty tutu. What? Even though you told me you were. Instead, I made something up. I told her you were wearing a bandana. What? It pained me to... 
tell such a bold-faced lie? I know you would never, ever wear a bandana! But your safety is more important than fashion! Dang! I just wanted to be friends with everyone. I agree, other me, but why would you... You walk into Mode Small. Um... Oh, okay. Well, uh, hello, Mode Small! Goodbye, Mode Small! But other me, why would you do that? You would... You were just supposed to tell Undyne! <sighs> it's alright, I suppose we'll just put on the old tutu again then. Since the other me... The, the plans have changed! Since the other me has told Undyne that Frisk was not wearing a tutu, but instead wearing a bandana that Frisk changed into, we shall just wear the tutu we were wearing before. So there we go. Now what is over here? Oh. It's a pair of ballet shoes. You take it. Yes. You've got the ballet shoes. Ballet shoes. You equipped ballet shoes. Oh, I should probably go back to the little box there. Should go up here. Alrighty. H hello, you. And hello, Sans. Make sure to clean off your telescope, brother. That is unsanitary. Oh, we we don't seem to have enough room now. Um. Oh, shoot. Something tells me I will be using those little items quite often, so that should probably give us enough room. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Hold on a moment. Other me? There's no respo- There's no response?! There's no response?! I normally- I normally answer the phone on- The time immediately! And hello, Mode Small. Righty. Nice to see you, Mill Small, and goodbye. But I always answer the phone! There's not a time when I never do! You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Oh, well, yes, your wishes shouldn't be laughed at. If they are your wish, then they are important to you. Wusha and Eren appear. Hello. Um. Uh, alrighty. I suppose I will flex then. You flex. Eren flexes twice as hard attack increases for you too. Tweet. Scrubber dub dubs. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Oh my god. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. Eren is ready for your next flex. Alright, flex. You flex harder, Aaron flexes thrice as hard, attack increases for you two. Will she you face? Nice, I won't lose though. Oh god. Um. Heart was blue, I did not move! It is like my blue attack! Aaron is ready for your next flex. I shall flex again! Aaron! Well, the human will flex again! He flexes himself out of the room. Farewell! Oops, I meant scrubber sub subs. Um. Oh god! Oh god! No, wait! Uh, Wusha is looking for some good clean fun. Um. Uh, well, would you mind cleaning the human? You ask Wusha to clean you and hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Good. Oh god! Yeah! There we go! Oh god! Uh, Wusha is friends with the little bird! Oh my god! Um. Uh, I think I can mercy but now. Yes, 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 good. Uh, spare! Oh my goodness. 55 gold? Thank you! But also, I need to use one of these items now. Nice cream. Here we go. Are those claws natural? You recovered 15 HP. Does the human frisk have claws? 
I never noticed before. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh. Oh. What is the... Uh. Um. Um. Uh. Um. 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 Hello? Hey there, noticed you were here. Ho hold on. You. You look very familiar. But I can't place from where. Uh, yeah, but, 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 hello! Hello there! I'm Onion Son, Onion Son, you here. Nice to meet you. Onion. Um, oh, uh, d do you have more to say? Um. Um. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Your big favorite? Th that is good. Um. 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 Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Oh. Um. I'm, I'm sorry your friends moved, but uh, perhaps you could go there as well, though, if you want to ever see them. That could work. Um. Uh. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... Oh! That's okay, though, you hear? A knight's gonna fix everything, you hear? Oh, is she going to get you a better place to live? That is nice of her. I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? That's the spirit! That's the spirit! Good for you! Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. Oh, you as well! In Waterfall... Well, all righty. Um... Oh, actually, other me, what, what, what do you have to say about all this? Onion? Indeed, onion. Ooh. Ooh, what is it? Ooh. Chiron hides in the corner but somehow encounters you anyway. Oh, hello! Um, act, Chiron, hum, smile, conduct? Oh, um, smile? You smile, you ask to see Shiren smile too? Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. What? Toot. What? Toot. Um. Shiren pretends to be a pop idol. Oh, a, a pop idol? Um. Um. Hum? Oh! You hum a jazz ballad, Chiron follows your melody! Oh, okay! Siri, Siri, see me, see me. Oh! Oh! Chiron seems much more comfortable singing along! Well, that's good! Chiron, get it. Oh! Well, you might be yellow. However, 
You seem to lack a little bit of confidence. And that will not do around either great papyrus. Madam, I'm going to hum again. Sing me more of that little song. You hum some more, monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly it's a concert. Ah, C4, C4, so far, so me, Ray, Ray. Oh, uh, oh, uh. Sans is selling tickets made of toilet paper. Sans, really? Act, Shiren. Hum, that's right. You hum some more. The seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. Me so, me so, me see, me la see so. Oh, oh god! The crowd tosses clothing. It's a storm of socks. Oh god. Sans! You and the rest of the crowd need to pick up your socks! Make sure they do! Um, there seems to be more text that keeps popping up, so hum! You hum some more, but the constant attention. The tours, the groupies, it's all... Aggressive tooting? Aggressive tooting? What? Oh god! Oh my god! Chiron thinks about her future. Good! Um... Uh, hum! You and Shiren have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Oh, final toot. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, no! You can all give up just yet! Puppy rule, stay determined! What? Wait, where am I? We're back here! Oh my god! Hello, humans and monsters alike, we're back in the room. <sighs> I can't believe that just happened, though. We were doing so good! It's all right, though. I, I have no anger towards Miss Shiren. I was hoping you'd get out of her comfort zone. Miss Shiren, we will do that again. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Yes. Hum. You hum a jazz ballad. Shiren follows your melody. See Ray, see Ray, see, see me. All righty. This time I will keep my eyes on the prize. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. Yes! Hum! You hum some more, monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a concert. See, far, see, far, see, so far, so me, Ray, Ray. Oh, darn it! It's my own fault. Sans is selling tickets made of toilet paper. Yes, very unsanitary, brother. You hum some more, the seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. Me, so, me, so, me, see, me, la, see, so. Don't worry, Shiren! You hum some more, but the constant attention! The tours, the groupies, it's all... Aggressive tooting. Alrighty. Shiren thinks about her future. We will hum again! You and Shiren have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final toot. You won! 30 gold! I'm glad I could get you out of your comfort zone, and don't you worry, there is no bad blood between us! It is okay, Miss Chiron, don't you worry! You go on and you live your dreams, you keep singing! Don't you give up on your dreams! The Northern Room hides a great treasure. A great treasure? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. First eight? What? There's a piano here. Play it? Yes? Um, oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! 
Well, that is interesting. There's a... Wait, hold on. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first it's on... Okay, hold on. Down the corridor, you say? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Oh. Oh. Hello. It's a statue. The structure at its feet seem dry. Well, it's raining on the poor thing. That could cause it to erode and crack! Oh, we need to find something, Frisk! <gasps> what did I just say? Take an umbrella? Yes, take one! You took an umbrella. Don't worry, Frisk, we're going to cover this little thing up. Don't worry, statue, we've got you. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes! You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Oh! I see! So it... So this is the music! Oh? Oh! Oh, hold on. I'm going to have to... Uh, middle up right. Middle down down right. Okay. Okay, middle upright, middle down down right. Middle upright, middle down down right. Middle upright, middle down down right. Middle upright, okay. Alrighty, there's a piano here, play it, yes. Okay, middle, up, right, middle, down down right. Ah, yes, we did it, Frisk! Oh! It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Um, take it! You're carrying too much dogs. What? I'm... what? A... Annoying dog? Use? You deployed the dog. What? What? That's the meddling canine! What are you doing here? The dog absorbs the artifact? What? What? Wait, where are you going? Get back here with that orb! What? What just happened? Um, the artifact is gone. What? What on earth was that about? Frisk and I just did that for no reason? Well, at least we gave the umbrella to the statue. I'm glad you're dry now, little statue. Please take one. Oh, wait, I already took one for the statue! Um... I, well, technically, that that statue was one person. So does... does I, the Great Papyrus and Frizz, count as another recipient? Take one? You took an umbrella. I hope this... this... is not breaking the rules. Oh! Oh, wait! Oh! Oh, that is very cool! Oh, Frisk's reflection! Oh, hello! Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Oh, hello, monster child! Let's go! Oh, oh alrighty. Um, that is very cool with the reflection. Oh, what? That is very cool! Oh. Man Undyne is so cool! Oh, yes, of course she is! When, when she's not trying to 
harm humans. But yes, outside of that, she is very cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Ha ha. Yes, uh, I suppose I would as well. Um. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, so one time, we had a school project where we had to take a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, know, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teach. What? I... What? No, that, that would not happen. Undyne would not beat up the teachers. She would probably suplex them, but not beat them up. The, the teachers are just doing their job. And maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly, young child. Oh. Oh, I was thinking I w that we would have been able to go this way. But yes, Undyne would never do that. Oh. Oh, is that the castle? Oh, wowie, look at that! A monster child? Oh, you're j Ah, yes, I see, you're admiring the view. It's very cool. Wait, other me! Do you have anything to say? That's the king's castle. Y yes, th that is the... Uh, do you have anything else to say? Seems you can finally see the end. Um. Uh, um. All righty, that was strange. Oh! Return the umbrella. Yes, put back. You return the umbrella. Um. Oh. Wait, how, how on earth is Frisk supposed to... Um, Monster Child, do you have an idea of how we're supposed to get past this? Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you... Oh, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Oh, all right. Well, thank you. Hopefully we can befriend Undyne, Frisk. I mean, you do in... The current situation we are in, in the underground, you befriended Undyne and everyone in the underground, but I don't know about this game. For some reason they portrayed Flowey being uncharacteristically malicious, so I don't know. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me, I always find a way to get through. Oh! Uh, alrighty, well... Be careful, young child, and thank you! Right. Oh. Oh, it is very dark. Humans afraid of our power declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. Oh. The serene sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination. Save. Waterfall Bridge. Alrighty. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust? I knew about the war, but I did not know about that. Um, uh... I don't like that the music and the sound effects are not there. Why did it go silent? Ah! Ah! Um! Ah! Oh God! Ah! Ah! No! I'm dying! I'm dying! No! We've been over this. The human will just be your friend. Try befriending the human. The human is just a child. I'm dying. The human is just a child. Stop being murdery! Stop trying to hurt the human. No! Uh, up here! Ah! No! Oh God! Oh 
Oh god! I'm sorry, Frist! Uh, um, uh, no! Uh, no! Uh, no! Uh, oh god. Uh, uh, no! Uh, no! Oh, dead end! Uh, oh, no! Uh, no! Down here? I suppose no! Uh, yeah. Oh god! No! What? I didn't did I touch that! What, uh, what no! Another dead end! Oh god! We've got this risk! Just hang in there! Oh my god, another dead end! Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, no! No! Um, I, oh my god, no! I'm so sorry, Frisk! Oh god, no! 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 Stop! I'm dying! Just talk to the human! Oh, just talk to the human! Just talk to Frisk! Just talk to Frisk! No! Oh god! Uh, this way, I think! No! Oh god! Oh god! Uh, no! 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 Just keep going, Fritz! Oh. oh no! No, 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 no! It's another dead end! Oh no, please tell me your. Please tell me your life, how I know you, and not how the humans are going to portray you as being very, very aggressive! Oh god! Oh god! Hello, Undyne! Huh? What? No! no. What? No! 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 Frisk! It sounds like it came from over here? What? Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Who is this? Here, get up. Papi Ruha. Oh, that's a nice name. M my name is. Uh... What? Oh! Oh, God, you're okay, Frisk! Ah! God! God! Alrighty. Oh, I'm happy you're all right. Where are we? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Garbage. Hold on. Wait. Garbage? Just garbage. Are we in the dump? Oh! It's one of those little stars. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Um, alrighty. Um, oh, uh, yeah, other me. What do you have to say about this? There's no response. There's no response again? That is not like me at all! I always answer the phone whenever my friends call. Pile of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Um. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair? That's a honk of despair? Alrighty. Um. Just garbage. A beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Oh. Garbage. Why is there so much garbage? Oh, yes, we're in the dump. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Yes? You've got the astronaut food. I wonder how that would taste. Well, it's food from the garbage, so I don't think I would want to have it, though. A trash heap. It's a DVD case for an anime. Oh, of course it is. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Desperate claw marks cover the edges? And it's a DVD for anime? Did Alphys leave this here? Um, oh, hello. Seems like a regular training dummy. 
You want to beat it up? Beat it up? No! You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Oh. Alrighty. Well, let us continue. Um. Um. Up! Uh, uh, hello? What? What? Ha ha ha! Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. Oh! Well, hello! My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until... You came along? What? When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat? Are you talking about the training dummy in the ruins? About the things you said? Horrible, shocking, unbelievable... What did Frisk say? If it were I, the Great Papyrus, I would have befriended the dummy. And I know the human is very nice, so w what exactly happened? What was said? It spooked them right out of their dummy? Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body? What? Oh, mad dummy blocks the way. Well, don't be mad. Um, act, mad dummy. Talk. Talk! You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much of a conversation. No one is happy with this. Yes, I agree! Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Pitiful? Oh, done! No! Uh, no! Stop! Stop it! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you, forget I said anything about magic. Um. Mad Dummy is looking nervous. Um. Uh, talk? You talk to the dummy? Doesn't seem much of a conversation. Why, though? No one is happy with this. What exactly did Fritz say? I'll defeat you and take your soul. But why? What did the human say? What exactly did the, uh, Frisk say to you, or your cousin, sir, or, or madam? I, I don't know. Uh, Mad Dummy is doing an armless scar dance. Okay. Um. Talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Well, what am I supposed to do? Or use your soul to cross the barrier? What? Well, if you wait around, uh, d little dummy, eventually the barrier will become open. Chris does where? Oh, it's floating around now. Smells like a clothing store. Um, mercy. Perhaps, hold on, perhaps I need to do what I did with Miss Toriel? Spare? Or stand in the window of a fancy store? Uh, 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 well, I hope you achieve your dream! Dad! Ah! Oh, God! What is happening? Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. What? Uh, spare? Then everything I want will be mine? Well, I wish you the best of luck, but... No, oh, God. I wish you the best of luck, but I... You don't need to fight Frisk! Also, hold on. Ah, uh... uh Bicycle! Here we go. You eat one half of the bicycle, you recovered 11 HP. Huh? Yeah, I guess that means I'll avenge my cousin. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, no, God! My dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. I didn't see anything. Um. Spare? What was their name again? You forgot your own co- Oh, God! You forgot your own cousin's name? That is not good. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, oh god! Oh god! Uh, yeah. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Again, I do not see anything. Spare? Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. You keep repeating your words in threes there, sir and or madam! It reminds me of... And honestly, it actually reminds me of the... Character Dio from... Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Spare. 
Futile, futile, futile. Yes, I think I I believe he said something around the lines of that, like a, uh, uh, what was it? Um, useless, useless, useless. Although Alphys insisted on watching the one with the subtitles, so he, he kept screaming, "Muta, muta, muta!" Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Oh, good. Good. Goodness! My dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Why do you keep repeating yourself now? Please, can we just be friends? Oh. Hey, guys. Dummies, dummies, dummies. Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, there he is. You're fired. You're all being replaced. That's not nice. Ha, 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 ha. Now you see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. That is rude! Mechanical words fill the room. Mechanical words? Um. Spare? Dummy bot's magic missile? What? Oh! Ah! 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 No! G get away! Um. Are you alright, sir and no madam? I don't know! Uh. My dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Spare. Dummy bolts try again. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, no! No, you don't! No, you don't! No, you don't! No, you don't! No, God! How is your dummy body able to take those missiles, sir and or madam? Spare. Dummy bots, your awful question mark. But, but that is not nice. Uh, 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 no, 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 no! And also, I'm sorry! I don't know why they keep going up to you! You know, if you want, you and, you and Frisk can be friends! And if you want, I could make you some spaghetti! For friendship! Uh, oh god! Oh god! Ah! Uh, uh, oh god! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh god! Wait, no! No, 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 no! Oh my god! N no way! These guys are even worse than the other guys? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. What do you mean? Friends are great! Uh, I've got knives! Oh god! Um, I'm out of knives. Oh, but it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck. Oh my god. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. Forever? Forever? Uh. Ah ha 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 What the heck is this? Um. Uh, acid rain? Oh, forget it, I'm out of here. Oh. Farewell! I suppose. <gasps> Napster Block! Hello! Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? No! Well, I suppose so, but I don't know what the, the fellow lady was doing. As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys look like you are having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Well, hello! Oh no, no, you weren't, do you weren't bothering anyone, Napster Block! Come back! Oh, there you are! Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Oh, no, 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 of course we will! Just thought I'd offer. Yes, of course! Let us go, Frisk! Oh. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Oh, well, of course we do! You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Good! All righty. Wait a moment. Hold on. Isn't this where Undyne's house is? It is! Oh, my God. That looks exactly like her house. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Wait a moment. What? 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 It's a living. Oh. All righty. Um. 
Well, uh, okay, I suppose we will go up to Napsterbrook's house then. Um, is it this one? Oh, no. Uh, this one? It's locked. Oh. Oh, I see! Hello, Napsterbrook! Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, alrighty! Um, what is this? It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, do you want to listen to some tunes or something? Alrighty. Uh, we can do that, but, um, hmm. Just noticed he doesn't have a bed. The CD is labelled Spook Tunes. Play it. Play it. No, uh, play it! Oh! Oh, that's very nice! What is this? The CD is labelled Spook Wave. Play it. Yes. Oh, we play the CD. The CD is labelled Gulete Music. Play it. Play it. You play the CD. Oh. I think I like this one a little better. Play it? Yes. There we go. Dang, that ambience. It's like my whole body is being spooked. Oh. Um. What do you have here? Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. Oh, thank you! This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yes. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You face right through it. Oh! Oh. Never mind. Well, well thank you anyway, Nabsterbrook. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. What? Why would you want to do that? It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Um, I suppose if it's for friendship, then yes. Okay, follow my lead. All righty. Oh, here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. Okay. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Oh, all right. Um, very well. Shall just lie here then. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh my. Um. Um. What on earth is happening? I think I'm ready to get back up now. Well, that was nice. Thank you. No problem. Um, I suppose I will inspect your TV. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Hmm. Alrighty, well, uh, thank you for the experience, Napsterblok. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Oh, alrighty. Um. Oh, does the other me have anything to say about Napsterbrook's house? So you're friends with a ghost? Isn't that kind of spooky? I think you like your friends warm and cuddly, like skeletons. Well, other me? Oh, this must have been before I was friends with Napsterbrook. I see. 
I see. I see. I apologize, other me. You just do not know the truth behind ghosts. They can actually be very warm. Oh. Um, oh! Hello, Napster Bloke! Awkward, I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bloke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Some hairy guy that shows up once a month? Oh. What? Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Oh, well, alrighty. Sure. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ah, uh, okay. Ready? Alrighty. Three, two, one. Um, you've got it! You can do it! Um. Uh. Uh. uh you, you, you can do this! D don't give up! Um, you got this! Oh, darn it. It seems every time I encourage the snail, it slows down! I am sorry for the encouragement! Well, no, I, I mean, I'm sorry for encouraging you too much! Race end. Oh, you both tried your best. But the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh, oh, what? Well, don't give up! You can still do it! Let's do this again! Yes! The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Okay, press C to repeat it. Repeatedly to encourage your snail. Repeatedly, you say. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Alrighty! You've got this! You can do it! Um. Oh, God. Wait. Um. Wait, hold on a moment. It seems my encouraging slow only slows her down! That wasn't the answer! I'm so sorry! Perhaps I shouldn't encourage at all, but that doesn't make sense. And that's not how I the great papyrus roll! Um Oh goodness, I I am sorry! Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Well, we are we are not giving up on you! Yes! We are going to play again, Blokey! We shall play! No! This time I'm not going to do anything! You've got this! You can do it! You've got it! I will not press any button! But it seems to... Uh, this seems not to be working either. Um... Uh... Where... Okay, I... Hmm... I see. Race end. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. The best wasn't good enough. Oh, darn it! Well, don't you give up, little snail. If you just keep practicing and trying, you will do it eventually. That goes for all of you humans and monsters alike. Don't you ever give up. You can do whatever you set your mind to. suppose we will move on then. I'm sorry, little snail. What does this fellow have to say? Um, there we go. I've been long overdue for a second house. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snaileth Sam Buell. 
All righty. The snail is counting dollar pills. Hmm. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. D no! Absolutely not! What do we have here? North Blook Acres, East Hotland, question mark, Temi Village? Temi Village? Hmm. Oh, what is here? Oh! Gerson! Hello! It's nice to see you, fellow! Well there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Oh, all right. Um... Crab apple, CT, cloudy glasses, torn notebook. Um. Hmm. See, ah, uh, crab apple? Thanks, wahaha. Well, thank you. Don't be shy now. Um, let's talk to you. Anything you want to know about yourself? I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wahaha. Uh, that emblem. Eh? You don't know what that is? Uh, no, I do. What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wahaha. That's the Delta Rune. The emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wahaha. Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Oh, King Fluffy Buns, cat name for beans. Oh, uh, emblem's meaning? No! That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh, uh, the, the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has been to the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death? What? A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm? In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Wahaha. Yes, I don't know why so many monsters would have a bleak outlook on life. The king, King Fluffy Buns, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. He very much is. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh, why do I call Mr. Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. Oh. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Oh, all righty. Uh, about Undyne! I believe you taught her, didn't you? I believe. Undyne, yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. And I am currently still fighting to be a part of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. Oh, I'd watch your pack, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. Wahaha. Oh, God. Uh, yes, uh, well, thank you, Gerson. Exit, uh, exit. Don't be shy now. Be careful out there, kid. Thank you. Uh, all righty, uh, I don't believe we have any room in the box. Oh, it's just as I thought! Uh, uh, wait, what? Dog residue? When did we get dog residue? That was left over by that one dog. <sighs> wait, hold on. What is down here first? Oh. Um. Nothing, I suppose. Alrighty. Hmm. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Ah, oh, yes. I know that very well. 
There's only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Oh. But this cursed place has no entrance or exit. Wait, but but wait, what what about the the entrance where the human fell from? Where Frisk fell in the ruins? There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. That is not true at all! And also Frisk da fell down the mountain! Hmm. I wonder who wrote that? It's strange. Um oh. human to move, I should say. Uh, oh! Uh, uh, special enemy Temmie appears here to defeat you? Um, hello, Temmy. Uh, act! Temmy, act! Flex, feed Temmy flakes! Uh, talk? You say hello to Temmy. Who I? I'm Temmy. Hello! Oh, my god! Uh, 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 Timmy vibrates intensely. Oh, you. Uh, all righty. Uh, spare. You won. You earn zero XP and zero code. All righty. Well, it's nice to meet you. Hmm. Oh. Oh. All righty. I suppose we'll just keep going then for- Oh! I- What? Uh... Oh! Uh, he hello! Hoi, welcome to Tem Village. Um... Hoi, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend Temmy. Hello. Hoi, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend Temmy. Hoi, I'm Temmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi. I'm Bob. Oh. Hello, Bob. Um. You feel something, you're filled with the Temian nation. Was that a pun, Kane? Did you honestly just put a pun here? You know what? I'm starting to think that maybe this game wasn't made by Frisk. Or an outside source. Maybe this game was made by Sans for all I know! No. No. That can't be. He's too lazy. <sighs> Hello. Uh, Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. Well, I wish you luck, little Temmy. Um. P. Tem heard human allergic to Tem. That okay, Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem? What? 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 Oh my god, are you okay? Hoives! Uh, Alrighty. Oh my god, I just noticed that there's a little Temmy in the wall over here. What? Feeling of being watched. Okay. Mushroom dance? Mushroom dance? Whatever could it mean? I don't know. Oh! It symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my Haifa. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. 
Well, I wish you luck. Uh, mushroom? Statue of Tim, very famous, very. Alrighty. A wah 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 wah. Humans such are cute. Thank you. Um. Hoy, you should check out Tim Shop. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tim Shop. Alrighty. Oh, hello. Hoy, welcome to the Tim Shop. Okay. Um. Um. Here's two HP. Oh, we don't have enough room. Uh, one G Tim Flake on sale. Twenty G Tim Flake expensive. One thousand G Tim Pig for cool egg. Tim Flake. Uh. Exit. Wait. Sell. Monster candy cinnamon bun. Choose. Dog residue? Wait. Well, I, I, I don't know why anyone would want this, but, uh... No! Oh! Whoa! Who got a dog residues? Hmm, I gotta have that dog residues, but I gotta pay for calling. Hmm, Tem always wanted dog residues? Uh... Tem buy dog residue for 5G? Well, uh, honestly, I want to get rid of it, so yes. There you go. Things purchase. Um. Oh, well, we can buy something from you now. Um. Uh. Tim Flake, it heals two, two HP. Wait. Um. Uh, discount food of Tim. Uh, I suppose we will buy this. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, purchase. You're welcome. Boy, welcome to the Tim shop. Um. Talk? Say hello. Hi, I'm Timmy. Hello. Hoi. I'm Timmy. Well, hello. Uh, about yourself? Hoi. I'm Timmy. Y yes, you said that. It's Timmy history? As Thames have a deep history. Very enlightening. Um, about shop? Yeah, yeah, go to Tim shop. Well, alrighty. Uh, thank you very much. Exit. Hoi, welcome to the Tim shop. Hello, again, and goodbye. Boy. Okay, then. You feel something, you're filled with determination. That was strange. Um, other me, what do you have to say? There's no response. This time I can kind of understand, other me. I'm not sure what to think of this place either. Um, well, I suppose we will go this way now. Um, well, hold on. I suppose I go that way then. Uh, you walk into Mode Small. Oh, wait a moment. Why is this one white? Imitate flirt? Flirt? Um, flirt? You wiggle your hips suddenly. Oh! Sounds. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! 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 Moon big mills about in the corner. Ah! Uh, lie down. Hug. Unhug. Uh, um. I don't know what to do. Hug. You hug Moon big. Gross slime covers you. Your speed increases. Slime sounds. Slime sounds. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh no! Wait! 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 Wait, wait, please. Oh, my God. Uh, Gyrix, reservedly. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Uh, the unicycle! You eat the unicycle, you recover 11 HP. Squad slime sounds. Uh, yeah, uh. Please stop! Please! I don't know what to do with you, I'm sorry! Uh, hold on. Perhaps we should spare the moat small. Whoa! And, uh, perhaps that was a bad idea! No! Oh my god! Uh, cinnamon one! Please! Oh my god. Slime sounds. Uh, uh, no! No! No, no, no! Uh, 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 lie down! You lie down, Mulbig lies down too. Mulbig understands life now. Raw. Uh, and it's good that it understands life now, I suppose. Uh, Mulbig gyrates reservedly. Uh, oh god, I don't know what to do in this situation. Unhug! You don't hug Moonbeak and appreciate your respect of its boundaries. Oh, I'm sorry! Cast Wickle. Uh. Oh, goodness. No! No! Moonbeak seems comfortable with your presence. Oh! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, thank goodness! Thank you! Goodbye! 20 gold. Oh, my God. <sighs> that was scary. We are going now, Frisk. Oh. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Oh. Um. Uh. Wait, hold on. Uh. Um. Wait, what is this? Oh! Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Oh. Yeah. Alrighty. We, we will get to... Oh! Wusha and Aaron appear. Uh, yeah, hello! Um... Oh, goodness. Flex! You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attacking increases for you too. Scrub a dub dubs Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Alrighty! No! Aaron is ready for your next flex. Uh... Uh... Flex! You flex harder, Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Nice I won't lose though, whistles as it cleans. Oh god, oh god. Oh goodness, Aaron is ready for your next flex. Uh, I should probably. Uh, astro food? You eat the astronaut food, your HP was maxed out. Oops, I meant scrubber sub subs. Come on, the water's clean, oh go! Oh goodness. Okay. Alrighty. Flex! You flex, Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Out Don spot. Yeah. Oh god! Yeah. Usha is rinsing off a pizza. That I don't know why you do that. It, it, it is food! Um, clean! You ask Rusha to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Yes! Uh, uh, green! No green! There we go. Good. Uh, spare. Goodness. 55 gold. Thank you. Alrighty. Alrighty, Frisk. You've got this. Um, oh. Okay. Alrighty, we will go up then. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah. oh, God. Oh, wait, I see something. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Ah, good. We did it. Excellent. Um. Oh, God, it got silent again. Um. Oh. Behind you? What? <gasps> oh! Oh no! No! Undyne! Undyne, remember! We can be you can befriend the human! You can befriend the human! Seven? Seven? Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god? What?
What on earth are you talking about? With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier? He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back to suffering and pain that we have endured? What? Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption? Give up your soul? But, but, no, but uh, Asgore is looking for someone with a powerful soul and died. What are you talking about? Or I'll tear it from your body. No! 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 No, 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 no! Andre, please! No, 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 no! Oh, God! <gasps> uh, little child, you need to get out of here! And I will help you fight! Yo! You did it! Unline is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Um... Little child! Wait! Who's she fighting? Frisk! Uh, hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Wh <gasps> oh my god! Undyne! Please! How on earth did- If this is exactly how Undyne acted, if this is how everything went down, how on earth did Frisk manage to befriend her? <gasps> um. Hmm. Okay, uh. Do, do we go back then? Oh! W what? This wasn't here before! Wait. There's no response. Why, other me? Why are you not responding? Oh, my goodness. Oh, this looks very cool. This room. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Oh. You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. You hear a passing conversation. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Oh, why would anyone laugh at that? That's a beautiful wish. You hear laughter? What? Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. That, that's, why would you laugh at that wish? You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, that is, that is very nice. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Ah, by freeing everyone in the underground, you mean? Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, yo! Oh, hello! Um, monster child, hello? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but... I want to ask you something. Okay. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um. Yo, you're human, right? Haha. <laughs> yes, the human is a human. Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. But why? So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? I, I, I don't know why, though. I, I don't know why Undyne wants to hurt the human. I kind of stink at that, haha. -ha. You say something mean so I can hate you? What? Please? But no, of course not. Yeah, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Um, man, I, I'm such a turd. Don't call yourself a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Oh, all righty. Uh, yo, wait, help, I tripped. 
Oh God! Oh my God! I'm dying! Wait, no! Don't worry, young child, we've got you! We've got you! Uh... Y yo dude if if you wanna hurt my friend oh you're gonna have to get through me first oh well good on you little monster child uh, oh fa farewell undine she's gone yo you really saved my skin guess being enemies was just a nice thought haha -ha. I don't think that's a nice thought. We'll just have to be friends instead. Yes! Good! Good! And don't call yourself a turn again. And I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Yes, you should. And don't trip. Later, dude. Farewell, little monster child! Wowie! That was very good. That was very nice! I like that! Um. Uh, I, oh, God, it's quiet again. I don't like when it gets quiet. Um. Um. Uh. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Undyne, what on earth are you talking about? Asgore does not want to become a god! He wants to break the barrier with soul power! With someone with a very strong soul! What are you talking about? Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. What? What do you mean? What do you mean we've collected six souls so far? Uh, th this. This game isn't making any sense. We 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 needed the human for 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 the soul power to break through the barrier. Anyone with a strong soul is able to break through the barrier, correct? Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. What what do you mean, seventh soul? First, however, as it is customary for those who make it thus far. I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Um, all right. No, you know what? What? Ah, screw it! Uh, why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Ah! What? Oh, she took her helmet off. Oh, my God. You! Oh, my God! Hello, Undyne! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams now! Alphys' history books made me think humans were cool! With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen... Uh, uh, but you? You're just a coward? What? Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again? The human wasn't being a coward, Undyne! The human was helping the child! And let's not forget your wimpy goody tools shoe stick! Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers! And that's how I do it. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead? What?! That's right, human! Your continuing existence is a crime?! No, it is not! Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom! By now I can feel everyone's hearts batting together! Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment! We're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. I mean, I agree with that message, Undyne, but I don't agree with the circumstances. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. What? I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Yes, we can be, Undyne, but this is not the way. Step forward when you're ready, foo hoo hoo. What? Oh, it will stop. The wind is howling, you're filled with determination. Save, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god, we have to fight Undyne! Oh god, I'm not ready for this! Oh god. Alrighty! We've got. We've got. We've. 
We've got this Frisk! That's it then! No more running away! Here I come! Oh god! Uh, uh, yeah. On guard! Undyne attacks! Oh my god! First I had to fight myself, now I had to fight Undyne! Oh god, act! Undyne! Plead, Chad! Plead! You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened? As long as you're green, you can't escape? As long as you're green, you can't escape? I feel like that might be important. Alrighty, unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Oh god, what, what is happening? Uh, what was that? It smells like sushi? What? Uh, Undyne? Plead! Plead again! I told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Why? Not bad then, how about this? How about what? Uh, what, 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 what? Oh, oh! Oh, I see! I need to use the arrows! All right! I get it now! Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Well, if you're thinking of me, Undyne, then spare the human! Spare the human! Spare Frisk! Spare Puppy Roo! Plead! You told Undyne you didn't want to fight! Nothing happened, oh god. Oh, yes, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Yes, I know! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is not the way! Act! Plead! Yeah. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Yes, I'm dying, but still, please! Please, just... Just let the human... Let the human go! Befriend the human! We can all make spaghetti together! Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Uh, mercy! Spare! I won't let you snatch it away from us! But, but the humans are trying to! Stop! And then points her me towards the sky! Spare! Yeah, enough warming up! Oh god. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Undyne flashes a menacing smile? Wait. Hold on. The human soul! It's red! Wait a moment. Unless you can learn to face danger head on. You can't run away when you're quick. Wait! Hold on! I don't know if this is correct. Hold on. I'm going to try something humans or monsters alike! Flee? Oh, wait! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, it, oh my god, it worked! No! Oh god! You won't get away from me this time! It worked! Oh my god! Ah, uh, and nine attacks! Oh, we're green again! Ah! Uh, spare! Honestly, I'm doing you a favor! What do you mean? How is this a favor, Undyne? Attacking the human, just befriend the human! Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Stop trying to be murdery towards a human, please! Spare! No human has ever made it past Asgore. What? Uh, oh! Uh, 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 uh. Undyne bounces impatiently. Um, spare! Killing you now is an act of mercy. How is that an act of oh, uh, mercy? Uh, yeah. uh, smells like sushi. Uh, uh, spare! So stop being so... Language Undyne! Resilient! Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no! Ah, we're ready again! L let's go! Let's go, Frisk! Run! Run! Keep going! What? What? Oh! Oh, God! No! You've escaped from me for the last time! Oh, God! Undyne attacks! Uh, uh, spare! I first told me humans weren't determined! Yes, the human is very determined, Undyne! What? Oh! And I towers threateningly! Spare! I see now what she meant by that! No! And I flips her spear impatiently! Spare! But I'm determined to! Oh god! 
I know you're determined on dying, but please! Oh, oh my god! Ah, dear! And I draws a finger across her neck. Don't do that! Spare! Tell me to end, end this right now! No! And it, no! Oh my god! A nice suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. She does that a lot! Spare! Right now! No! Oh god. And I draws her finger across her neck. And, and I please! Right now! Oh god! Uh, oh, uh, 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 crab apple! You eat the crab apple, your HP was maxed out. Good! Ha ha! Uh, 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 oh, oh god! These yellow arrows are very confusing! A knight holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Mercy! Please! Not die already, you little brat! It's not nice, I die! Please! Please! Please, I die! No! Oh god! Uh, 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 run! Run, human! Run, Frisk! Run! Run! What? Ring? Hey, what's up? This is not the time, enemy! I was just thinking! You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime! That's a very great idea, but this is not the time! I think you would make great pass. I think so too, but this is not the good- This is not the best time! Let's meet up at our house! Okay, we'll do that! But no! no! Oh god, stop running away! <gasps> wait! Wait, she didn't turn the human soul! Run! Run! Run, Frisk! Run! Sans! Wait, 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 we don't have time! Sans, you lazy boat, I will talk to you later! Um. Undyne? Armor so hot. But I can't give up. Um. Undyne? <gasps> Undyne! Undyne! Oh my god! Wait. Oh my god, wait. It's a very convenient water cooler! Yes, get a cup of water! Yes! Undyne here! Give Undyne the water? Of course! She's my friend! Give her the water, Frisk! Undyne? Are you okay? Please tell me you're okay! Uh <gasps> she left Frisk alone! Undyne? Uh, what? What? Sans was just here! Oh... He must have known I was going to talk to him, but good! And, uh, what? Hello? Okay, KKKKK. Okay, okay, okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Okay. Um. Oh! Those are members of the Royal Guard! Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. Oh. Wait, hold on. Um. Papyrus's phone. Hmm. A mysterious science house. What? Oh. Hello, Sans. The sign outside says lab. Lab? Like laboratory. Laboratory? Does that mean there are dogs inside? I mean... Wouldn't rule it out. Oh, what? Labrad... Oh! Oh, I s Oh, okay! I, I didn't know what they were talking about. The other me and Sans. Okay. okay. Hmm. Do I go there? Or what is down here? Oh, hello! Tra-la-la, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Yes? Where will you go today? Snowden waterfall? Uh, waterfall? Then we're off. 
Okay. We're specifically in Waterfall, though. Trollala, tree lee lee, tree lee lee. Come again sometime, Trollala. Very well. Thank you for the ride. Oh. What is this? Oh! Oh, th this is right outside of Undyne's house! We can get Frisk and Undyne to be friends now, humans and monsters alike! Let's go! Is other me? Yes! Other me! Oh, and Undyne's playing piano! Oh, she likes to do that a lot! Oh, the human arrives! Yes! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? Yes, other me! Let's do it! Let's make them friends! I have a plan to make you two great friends! Yes! Will you hang out? Of course! Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. Oh. She loves these! Oh, yes! Yes! Good thinking, other me! The dog biscuit! Hi, Papyrus. Hello, Undyne. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Yes, hello, Undyne. Hi, I don't think we've... Uh... Um... Why don't you two come in? Yes! We shall! Here, Undyne. My friend brought you a gift for you on their own! Smart thinking, other me! Ah, uh, thanks. Allah uh, put it with the others. I hope this goes well, humans and monsters alike. Last time I had to jump out the window and say, Oopsie doopsie, I have to go to the bathroom. Because I, well, I was trying to get the two to converse. It may happen the same, but I don't know. See, she loves those! So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. And he jumped out the wind! That's what I did! We're, we're, we're moving on. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? Secretly, though, humans and monsters alike, I was just standing outside the window listening to the conversation. After a while, I left, of course. But, but still, how on earth did they, how did they know I broke a night's window and I said... Never mind. To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Never, Undyne! Is that it? No! Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Yes! Right? Yes! Yes! Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's frolic in a field of friendship! Oh, that would be great! I love that idea! Not... Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I forgot she... Said. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you... Weren't my house guess I'd beat you up right now? You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Tang! Darn it! Now get out of my house! Darn it! Oh! Dang, what a shame! Right, enemy? me? I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. That is what I did. That is what I said. Again, I don't know how they know I said this, but... Smart thinking, other me! Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! And I don't know what happened after this, so this is all new to me. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. Hoo hoo hoo, what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. That is not nice, Undyne. 
I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. Oh? We're going to be... Besties! Good! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! Well, well, Undyne. You forget that the human is also friends with either Grey Papyrus, so that would be very difficult to be besties with. Boo-hoo-hoo, it's the perfect revenge. Revenge? Why don't you have a seat? Oh, all righty. Um, sit down, Frisk, sit down and progress. Yes! Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Thank you, Undyne. Uh, what, what are you making? All said, what would you like? Who? Um, let us go to... Uh, hey, don't get up! You're the guest, sit down and enjoy yourself. I'm sorry! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Okay, aim with the arrow, select with Z. All righty. Um, und Undyne? Select with Z? You can't drink Undyne, she's a friend. Select with Z? Are you hitting on me? Uh, no, no I, I'm sorry, Undyne. Um, sugar goes with tea. No, you can't drink sugar. Soda, sickly, yellow liquid. Um, it's not really that healthy for you humans, so I don't think you should drink that. Um, hot chocolate, green cylinder, select with Z. Tea box, blatantly correct choice, select with Z. Oh, blatantly correct choice, fridge full of food. Oh, oh, hold on. Sword acquired taste, select with Z. Sword? I don't think you can drink a sword either. We're going to go with the tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Well, thank you, Undyne. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Don't worry, we have time. Okay, it's all done. Good. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. Um, it's not that hot, just drink it already. Oh, okay, D -d drink. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? I, I suppose, I don't know. I cannot taste it. Although you, you have made it for me before, so I suppose if it's anything like what I remember, then yes, it is good. Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. It's working. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favourite kind. Oh, yes, that's right. I believe Undyne told me that before. Actually, now that I think about it... You kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. That is Undyne's way of saying that she appreciates you. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. I can only imagine. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. Ooh. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. Well, that's be that is because you like him as a friend, Undyne. And he was your mentor. Of course you felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard! Oh, that 
is what I want to be one day. So I'm the one who gets to train Dort to fight. Like a papyrus. Are you calling me a dog? Oh, I'm kidding. Humans are monsters alike. I know she's calling me a dog. Like I said, that's her way of being friends. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. What? Don't tell him I said that. It's, uh, it's a little too late for that, Undyne. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. Well, yes, of, of course I am. I, I'm the Great Papyrus, but what do you mean you can't let me into the Royal Guard? It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice? Well, of course I am, Undyne! I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. Undyne, you don't have to solve everything with violence! I could never send him into battle? What, what do you mean? Undyne? I... Well... To be fair, Undyne, I was going to use my special attack, but a dog came around and took it away from me. If anything, I was holding back against the human. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds? What? What? That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know. What? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life? That's why I've been making spaghetti with you? Undyne? My, my dear close friend? This whole time you've been worried about me? You've been worried that I would be teared into smiling little shreds? And to protect me, you taught me how to make spaghetti? Undyne. You don't have to worry about I, the Great Papyrus. I am the Great Papyrus, after all! But you looking out for me means a lot. But you don't have to worry, Undyne. Because I will now double my efforts to become a part of the Royal Guard! I will show you what I am capable of, Undyne! I will not be torn into little smiling shreds, and I will prove to you that I can do it. So don't you worry. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. It's, it's okay. You're not out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson? What about it? He was supposed to have that right now? Oh. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him? What? Uh, oh. Um... Undyne, uh, uh, you just made a mess! That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. That, that is true. Which means if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. That is a brilliant idea, Undyne. Boo hoo hoo, afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Good! Uh, oh. Let's start with the sauce. Ah, yes! Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them into dust with your fists. How will you pound strong, wimpy? Ah, uh, uh, well, Undyne always does it strong! You punch the vegetables. At full force, you knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! 
Our hearts are un uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Nah! Oh my god. And I... You should have just put this in a bowl. You always don't make a mess. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. Oh, well, there you go. You should have just started with a bowl. But for now... We add the noodles. Ah, oh, yes, the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Oh. I didn't realize she bought store brand. Nah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely careful. Careful! You place the noodles in one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta, yes! As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Yes! Uh, repeatedly stir, okay! Stir harder, uh, all right! Harder, all righty! Harder, I'm trying! Uh, uh, let me do it! Oh, oh, oh my god! I'm done! How many times have you done this with your cooking utensils? Oh, that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. All righty. Let the stove pot stabilize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams burn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. All right. Hold right to turn up the heat. Okay. Uh, hot. Hotter? There's flames! Undyne! Hotter! Done! What? Undyne! You're going to catch your house on fire again! And let me do it! Um... See, this is... And... No! Undyne, no! Oh my god. Ah... Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at co... Oh, she's joking again. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? <gasps> Both of those things sound great. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. No! And if we can't be friends, that's okay? What? Because if we're not friends, what? It means I can destroy you without regret? No, 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 no! I've been defeated, my house is in shambles, but... Undyne, you, you are the one who burned your house. I've even failed to befriend you? That's it? I don't care if any, you're my guest anymore? One final rematch, all out on both sides? It's the only way I can regain my lost pride? Now come on, hit me with all you've got, nah! What? And then he's letting you make the first attack? N no! Undyne! Fake... Fake attack? Uh... Fake attack! You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Uh... What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? No, of course not, Undyne! I would never want to hurt you, nor would Frisk! Hey, you know what? <gasps> I don't actually want to hurt you either! <gasps> Good! At first I hated your stupid saturine shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it... Remind me of someone I used to train with. But I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Oh, Undyne! Just like him. Like me? She must be talking about me. Listen, human. It seems that you... Wait. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. 
Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo hoo hoo. Still, I don't think we should be taking souls, though. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you? Uh, that's what friends are for, right? I suppose? Hoo hoo hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house, also language, and I'm sorry humans and monsters alike. Oh my god! Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess? In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. <gasps> so if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? We should do that! Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too! Good! I'll see you later, punk! Yes! We did it! We got Undyne and the human to be friends! But Undyne's poor house is on fire again. Sounds like only fire lives here now. Oh, goodness. Um. Other me! Wait! Other me! Guess what? Oh, Papyrus and Undyne? Ring, ring. That's Undyne's house. It's a great place to... Uh, uh what? Oh, Undyne! Huff, puff. Yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowie, Undyne. Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. Yes! But hold on. Hold on. Undyne said that she is with I, the Great Papyrus, and Snowden. We need to go see that. Hold on, I think it's over this way. Tra la la, care for a ride? Yes! Ride the boat? Yes! Where will you go today? Snowden! Then we're off. Let's go! What? What? Um. Tra la la, Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Oh, yes, I. I've been there. It was interesting to say the least. Oh, I see. This was the... Ah, I see. Come again sometime, tra-la-la. I didn't know what this was last time. Snowden! Hello again! Okay, to the right. Is Unline and myself here? <gasps> yes! Yes! Hello, me! I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends. Now I am too! You two go together like pasta and burning. Yes! Hey, punk! What's up? Achoo! Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin! Yes! So why don't we stand in groobies instead? Uh, because I hate grease, exactly. But you don't have any stomach. No, but I have standards, exactly, other me, exactly. I'm so glad you and I are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. Yes! Oh, that is so good. That is so cool! Ah! I'm so happy that Undyne and the human are friends now. And the human and I are friends in this game. That is so good. Ah! But... You know what humans and monsters are like. I think that is a good place to leave this. There has been certainly a lot of... Uh, a lot of panicking going on. Because I thought something bad was going to happen and Undyne would have harmed the human. But luckily that did not happen. Luckily the human is A-OK -okay and has made friends with Undyne. And I have also learned that... That Undyne apparently started teaching me spaghetti, how to make spaghetti, because she was worried about me. But like I said, Undyne, you don't have to worry about I, the Great Papyrus. I am friendly because I am the Great Papyrus! It is what I know. 
and I will become a part of the Royal Guard. I will prove it to you that I can and should be in the Royal Guard. But yes, humans and monsters alike, I suppose that's going to be it. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I hope you all have a great day and or night whenever you have been watching this. I am the Great Papyrus, and I will see you all later. Farewell!